Joe Brunt, and in this video, I'm going to briefly explain what a thermocouple is and how it works. So, a thermocouple is a device that we use to find some type of a temperature measurement. All right. So, it works by harnessing something called the thermoelectric effect. The thermoelectric effect uh, is an effect where, let's say, you have a wire, okay, and one end of the wire is exposed to a heat source, and the other end of the wire is somewhere that's cooler what's going to happen is a millivolt signal is going to be generated from the the hot side that's going to travel to the cooler side okay and this millivolt signal depends on how hot this heat source is and what this wire is made out of okay so in the thermocouple we're using the thermoelectric effect and we're coupling two wires together here's the thermocouple alright so here we have two dissimilar wires that are coupled together and in this instance, we're using a type K. Now, real quickly, there are about eight, there are eight major types of thermocouples, and so each one is going to be made of two different uh, types of wire, like iron and constantine, chromal, alumal, copper and constantine. They're all going to have different ranges ranges of temperature that they're designed to measure. Um, so a type K is the most common uh, because they're very cheap, and because um, they have a very wide range of temperature that they can measure. So, here we go. Let's say we wanted to measure a small campfire. You know, it would be around 1,000 degrees Celsius. And um, we, what we would do is we'd stick one end of the probe, or uh, we'd stick the hot junction in the fire. The other side of our thermocouple, okay, is going to be connected to our, our device, like a fluke. And what it's going to do is, it's going to understand that it's going to take into account the difference in millivolts produced in this wire and in this wire. That's what it's looking for because a bunch of smart people and scientists have calculated what the temperature needs, what the millivolt signal needs to be depending on a temperature. And they calculated this chart, this big table, huge table, um, for these different wires based on a reference junction being at ice point. And so our machines do something for us called a cold junction compensation where basically they can find the temperature of whatever our reference point is. You know, where this device is, is it inside, is it the ambient temperature of the room? And they find that temperature using a thermistor that's built into the machine and it does a cold junction compensation for us so that we can find the accurate temperature. Okay, and uh, basically by comparing the millivolts and knowing and doing and using cold junction compensation um, and using the thermoelectric effect, that is how a thermocouple works. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the spaces below and um, have a good one.